Dan, I tell you what, the Chevrolet guys are trying to come after you all and pull you in. He's running good. You got to him. How close was it down there? It was real close, Army. I think the truck's really been working well. That time it kind of threw me for a loop between the first and second set of cars. Can't blame it on the truck. I really wasn't prepared for it. Um, I don't know what to say as far as going into the finals here. It's going to be rough. Been running in the left lane all night. Been running good times. But that one, I just kind of got a little squirrely in between the cars. We'll have to wait and see. And Colt Culver will have lane selection for the championship go. Hey, that youngster's getting ready for it. The Monster Truck Thunder Drags are part of the special events performance series, and like the Jamborees, they offer a weekend of four-wheel fun. Pick up the latest accessories at the manufacturer's midway or check out the Show and Shine competition. Contact the special events promotion company to find out when one of these events will be coming to your area. Well, the kids are ready. We're ready for the championship when we come back to Canfield. Welcome back to Canfield. Hey, you see a shot like this, you expect to hear the theme from the Honeymooners or perhaps Werewolves from London. Okay, let's play Honeymooners. Uh, Ralph and Alice, you're going to be in the uh, Bigfoot truck, and uh, Norton, you and Trixie over there in the snake truck. I don't think so. I don't think so. The Power Wheels Bigfoot will have Dan Runte and Colt Cobra. Right there's Colt will be in snake bite. And uh, Cramdens and, and Trixie and the rest of the, the cast other people, are yeah. not here. Both the trucks run 460 cubic inch engines. Both of them are in blower drive services. Uh, supercharger on top. Uh, the trucks are very, very similar. It's going to get down to which driver can drive the truck. A lot of rivalry here, but then they get a lot of respect. As the Blue Oval Bunch is going to take another win on this Pinda Point Series, Gary. They have been dominating this year. Well, remember, in the semifinal round, Colt Cobra was actually faster than Dan Runty, so he gets lane choice. He takes the lane nearest us. And he is kind of flirting with disaster there because, well, not in the final he's not, but there's a little down dip to the right side. But I guess he figures, hey, it's a final. Let's pull the trigger and go for this thing. Both drivers. Oh, a little bit. Ah, there you go, Gary. What he did, he burst the throttle left lane and spooked the driver in the far lane, made him back on the throttle. So he just flat out thought him on that one. That's no one. drag racing stunt, is it not? Yeah, exactly. You burp the throttle, make the other guy leave, then you stop. Then he stops and you go. Dan Runte got foxed on that one. Dan Runte, red lights, he disqualified. Look again, watch the truck left side. Now watch him, he'll move, then the other guy will move, but he'll stop right there, and then he stops, boom. Runte, red lights, and Colt Cobra takes the victory. Army? Can you take them any way you can get them, but that, that was sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it was. You know, Snakebite's been running hard this year, and, you know, we came back, you know, last last weekend we got a win, come back hard and strong, and Snakebite's in the finals. And one, number one. But the lesson to be learned here is to watch the Christmas tree. Don't watch the guy next to you. Yeah, but the good Lord gives you something called peripheral vision. When something moves, you're going to move with it, too. You know, when thousands of second counts, that's what it's all about. It's kind of like a slide job in a race car. Now, the replay on the screen is going to show us real quick. Watch what happens. Burp, stop, go, stop, go. Now we got a good race for it. Yeah, but it's all over right there. He won it right there, and here is your winner. I t I tell you what, Colt, I bet that guy's life passed in front of him when you burped that throttle and the light didn't re go red on him. Uh, I've been trying to play the lights. Lights are a big part of the racing here when it's this close. I, I thought it was going. I started to go and stopped, and I guess I brought my motor up. He went. I didn't know what happened to him, if he had broke or what, or if he was right behind me. Just stay with it all the way down through there, and uh, looks like we came out with a win. Everybody here has been teasing us all night about our little puppy motor, but I guess the puppy's loose tonight. I'll tell you, the puppy was howling tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Army. Well, with all the activity here this evening, Fred Schaefer falls back to fourth in the Penda points standings. We'll take a look now as Andy Brass continues to lead, but closing in is Dan Runte. And Army Armstrong, I believe, has caught up with Dan Runte. Bigfoot power wheels went to the final, Gary, but a little bit of a burp. I don't mean a belch. I mean a horsepower burp. Cost you a little bit out there. Yeah, it sure did, Army. You know, we went out there and red-lighted. The truck was running excellent. Can't complain a bit about that. It was hooking up off the line. He threw us back in the lane we wanted to be in. He did a little burp. He got stopped. I did a burp, and I didn't. I guess that's what happens. 
Sounds like a dive gel night. Some automotive indigestion there at the starting line. Our congratulations to Colt Cobra. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now here's news of an exciting video release from Diamond Peace Sports.